Let's have a little bit of fun with this one. And let's talk about relationships. You have a relationship with yourself first. And are you doing a good job? Because that's the first one, step one. What is your relationship with yourself like? And then, of course, we have relationships with others that possibly go into a relationship. Then we have relationships with money, time. Yeah, and when you start to think about it, are you pretty healthy when it comes to relationships? And what does that mean to you? Because relationships have some responsibility. And a lot of people, if they're late, they don't have a good responsibility when it comes to time. They don't have a good relationship with time. Get a little nervous. They avoid fear a little too much. And of course, with people, some, some of y'all, you like people. And some of you, you don't like people. And so the relationships can be strained. So what if you and I worked together and the word relationship became a little bit safer and then you started focusing on yourself a little bit more and started to like yourself, love yourself, give to yourself, pay attention to yourself, build a good life for yourself, so then you'd have more room and a healthy room to have relationships with others, with money, with time, with careers. Do you have a good relationship with your career? And if you don't like your job, of course not, you don't. Do you have a good relationship with your kids? And if you're speaking poorly of them, if you're frustrated with them and it's not really going all that well, you may not have a good relationship with your children. So this is a, a pretty simple word, but it's actually pretty powerful. And I want to have a healthy relationship with myself because when it's all said and done, nobody can take care of me, Diane, better than I can. I'm supposed to say yes for Diane or no for Diane. I don't say yes or no for you. But I want to listen to myself, pay attention. I don't want to be easily persuaded by others because then you're more important than what Diane really needs to say. So having a healthy relationship with yourself is probably number one. And then can you have a better relationship with love? Because that really is the answer to everything. And what we're so beautifully searching for or painfully searching for. I hope this makes sense to you and it will make sense in your sessions because I'm going to look at you as a individual and I'm going to inspire you to show up Build a strong character because the strong character in you will have a powerful yes or a powerful no. And then your whole world will change. So can you get healthier? Yes. Can you get happier? Duh. You just got to build on the relationship part. And I can serve you there. So thanks for listening. Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. I have a 360 kind of a twist when it comes to the coaching and I am a energy healer. So I want to shift the vibration and the energy that pulls you out of success. And I want you to place yourself right dab in the center of everything. So thank you.